wrong type of plane. Hand plane, not airplane. Anyway, let's restore this one and hopefully it looks half as good as this one. All right, so today's gonna be a fun one. I am going to restore an old hand plane that I inherited from my dad. Now this thing is in pretty bad shape. Uh, I never saw him even use it. Um, so I have no idea when the last time it was actually used. Uh, I got four of them. I restored one previously. Uh, it's a Stanley Handyman and it's it works. I, I, I like it. But this guy is in bad shape. So join me. We're going to take this thing apart and see if we can get it into a working condition. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking this thing apart. Maybe. Let's just make this easier. that some spider webbage there's even some sort of bug nest in that gap with the chipper awesome I was worried this was not gonna come loose okay this one piece so check this out so you can see <laughs> this thing used to be shiny um, hopefully we can get it back to that luster Probably gonna do it gray, not black, but we'll see. Okay. So this is uh, what they call it, the frog. Uh, it's pretty rusted. We've got a, a stamp here, 409. So that'll give us a little bit of information when I look this thing up and see if there's any... Uh, cool backstory to it. I don't think there will be, but that's okay. Oh. This is kind of interesting. These threads are um, reverse threads, so that's something to keep in mind. Oh, man. That's not right. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to make a new one or what, but. All right. So don't know why I'm trying to clean these off because this is a mess. <laughs> okay. This is probably all lead based or something. So I'll just breathe it in. Okay, this is super dirty. All right, let me get my little tub. Okay, so this is WD-40 Rust Remover Soak Specialist. Dissolves rust safely. So this is actually a biodegradable, non-irritating, non-toxic, all sorts of good, good stuff. Uh, but you can also reuse it. So that other one that I re restored already, I put in this tank and um, as safe as it may be it does not smell good but apparently you can reuse this stuff so I don't know this isn't even gonna fit I don't know what else to do with it so we're gonna just figure out what we can do there's that Okay, here's what we're going to do. I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Okay, screw it. We're just going to do... Oh my god. This blade. 
it is rough, but hopefully this rust remover will take all the rust off and then we can hone it really well with our uh, honing stones. Okay, so we've got about a couple inches sticking out here. I don't know what to do about that. So I'm just gonna top it off. Ooh, man, this stuff does not smell good. As safe as it may be, stinky. So I'm gonna let this silk overnight and then maybe in the morning I'll flip this and let it, I don't know. We'll figure it out though. This is not starting off great, <laughs> but let's do this. Let's see what happens. It's a nice morning, I'm about to head out to work. Whoa. Man. The rest just kind of fell off this, that's awesome. Do this. Okay, so it's actually been a couple days that I've had this in here, but the rust just came off, which is amazing. Um, there's a little rust here because it was sticking up out. Uh, but we'll take all the parts out. I'll just scrub that down a little bit. Need to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I don't know exactly what to do, but I'm going to figure it out. Okay, I just got this dirty mop bucket. This is going to... Okay. So, it's apparently biodegradable, so I'll just drink this? I don't know. In all reality, I have to I think I need to call the city and see what the best thing to do with that is. Now we got the blade, which looks pretty good. We'll scrub it down. Um, hopefully that'll look a lot better. Got the frog. That looks good. So you can see just all the stuff that comes off of this. Uh, this is a chip breaker. Looking good. The uh, I actually forgot what this is called. The um, whoa. Okay, so I got them out. Uh, got them dried off ish. Um, got this wire brush, just small, simple. I'm just gonna kind of go to town, try to get some of the muck off. Yeah, it's coming off pretty good. Just the paint on this guy is gonna come right off. So on the actual body, uh, it's been painted black. And yeah, you can see, I don't know, the lighting might not be good, but you just hit this. I'm gonna try to stay away from the uh, the areas where um, the frog touches. Yeah, so right there. And hopefully, this all comes off pretty easy. So I'll do some more scrubbing here. And once this is all done, then we'll work on getting everything tuned up. Okay, so clean this up best. I can slash want to uh, as far as the um, paint in here goes. Now we're going to smooth this up, smooth the sole up. I believe it's called the sole. Someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Might have called it, might be a, a boot, might be a, I don't know, might be something. But so I have here some. Just uh, auto upholstery adhesive. 
So what I do is just get some 80 might be a little much. We'll do 120. We'll throw some 120 on here. Uh, and some that went everywhere. Do I need to do this? I don't know, but I'm gonna. Now we're just gonna hit this real light with some uh, WD-40 and then just start going to town on this thing. All right, so. So you can see kind of where it's lower. I don't know if you can really see, but you can see the shiny spots and then the not show sh shiny spots. Shiny spots uh, are getting smoothed out, but there's a little bit of pitting. So I'm gonna keep grinding uh, on the, on the uh, sandpaper here and get this a little smoother before I go up to 400 grit. So I'm just gonna do this and you know, like I said, pretty labor intensive. Hello, beautiful wife of mine. Um, I made the boys some mac and cheese. We're about to sit down to eat. We're okay. Eat, yeah, yeah. Let me come on in. I've got to wash my hands. Dinner time. Mac and cheese. All right, so I ran into a problem using that piece of marble. It's a little too small, too short. So I'm going to, yeah, I got some, some adhesive on here, awesome. I'm gonna use uh, this piece of melamine with, or not melamine, uh, laminate, um, with 400 on it and just go to town on this. Throw a little oil on here, just WD-40. This just kinda comes out. Yeah, just start going to town on this one. Well, as you can tell, this takes a long time. This is sped up quite a bit and it still takes forever. And I even took some of the footage out because it's just so much sanding to smooth these things out. <sighs> okay, well, it's, it's getting there. So you can see here, see how it's still a little you can see it's shiny, but like right here. So that's a low spot. So I want to get this gone. Best I can anyway. So much sanding, but you put in the effort and the result is worthwhile. So that's pretty good. Again, could be better. Definitely could be worse. Might work on it a little bit later. I'm tired of it <laughs> for now, but I'm gonna move over to the blade and this blade is pretty bad. Um, I don't know if you can tell it's rusted and chipped. So I'm just gonna get this going. So same deal. It's uh, you see how it's lightening up, but there's this dark spot. That's a low spot. So let's get that all evened out and we'll worry about the edge later because this is, that's not good. All right, now I've moved on to the chip breaker. I got this side done. This is the side that's gonna show of the blade. And then this side's, I'm not too worried about it, although it does need to slide on the frog. So, or, no it doesn't, uh, anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll work on this more. I'm just tired of it. So I'm going to work on the, fro uh, the the chip breaker and then move on to the frog and then the, uh, then the, um, I don't know what this, I cannot remember what this is called, but move on to that and then move on to the screws. So 
It's going to do a little quick tape off. So we have, it says Sergeant. So I'm going to uh, paint these and then, okay. So we've got that taped off. I'm going to spray paint it red. And then all the down, uh, the lower parts will stay red when I slightly sand it. So it should look pretty good. So that was easy. I'm just going to let that dry, then I'll sand this down. All right, let's see how this works. Let's get the frog body. Getting this is a contact point between the blade and the frog. So I'm going to so smooth this out as best I can. Uh, and here, but we've got this control bit here and this control bit here that I don't want to sand. So I'm going to do my best. I chucked up the screws and bolts into the drill press and turned it on and hit it with 220 and they polished up real nice. Now with the body, I did tape off all of the contact points and spray painted it and let it sit overnight. Just removing the tape, relatively clean. Just taping up the frog here so uh, paint doesn't get on any of the crucial contact points. Paint it gray. Now I'm just going to dry fit it, make sure everything looks good. Let's sharpen the blade, get the chip chip guard settled, and then uh, work on the handles. Let's see what we can do with these now. I like them, but I'm going to try and I can't, I'm not going to try to turn this one. I'm going to sand it up a little bit more, but yeah. All right, so we're going to make the handle out of this walnut. And so it's got this through hole for this bolt. Um, I had to super glue it here, CA glue. So so what we want to do is line this puppy up. First off, let's do Okay. So mark where that hole goes. Okay, so let's like cut this out, see what we can do. I'm gonna cut uh, here so I can take a 90 and drill a hole uh, all the way through. So let me go cut this and then we'll put this on the drill press. After finding the center point of the handle thickness, I drilled the hole and then I realized I don't have a drill bit that's the right diameter. Uh, that's long enough, so I just use this long one, and then I put the indention at the top for the recess for the bolt to sit in, and then I just use my hand drill. Now, here what I'm doing is just drilling some holes for the contour of the handle, so that way it's just a little less to remove and more perfectly round, I guess you could say. Now, once I did that, I'll throw the knob in the chuck and just kind of hit it with 220. Use the jigsaw to cut out the basic form that I want the handle to have. And then I want to take it over to the spindle sander, get the curvatures done, and then really get it with the, the oscillating belt sander. So I'll do a little bit of hand sanding on this off camera, but I think it came out pretty well. I just hit the handles with some wipe on poly. For the love of God, wear gloves. This stuff is sticky. All right. So, got the handle handles on. I think they turned out pretty well. 
looks decent. Uh, now it is time to sharpen the blade. So there's a couple ways to go about this. Um, I'm using these sharpening stones, honing stones. Uh, so let them soak for about 10 minutes in water and then even them out. Do like that, a bunch of that, and then we're gonna sharpen them. So I'll get in nice and close here in just a second once I get these flattened and then we'll go to town on them. Alrighty, so I made this little jig so I know how to set this honing jig. All right, so we'll just take it, put it on your honing stone, and this needs a lot of work, and that's okay, but, ooh, look at that. Since this blade was in such bad shape, I did need to hit it with the lower grit sandpaper on the marble slab just to get it to a point where I could get it sharp. So I'm just hitting it with the 80 and then 120. Now I'm going back to the 400 honing stone. And it's just a lot of back and forth, uh, then clean up the block, and then get the back, and then clean up the block, and then keep going. And eventually it gets pretty sharp. All right, so I'll do a marker trick. You just paint the edge, the end. All right, so we have the end red. So, I don't know if you can see, but the very end of that is still red, so that means that it's not being honed, so we just got to work on that a little bit more. Okay, so now, what we're going to do... down to our 30 degree mark and I'm just gonna go through the motions again real real quick real smooth do our marker trick again and it should only take off the very tip yep I don't know if you can see but yeah just took the tip, the very edge off there. Okay, it's nice and sharp. I don't know if you can see, but yep. Woo! Sharp as sharp can be. All right, let's get this thing put together. All right, so I'm gonna rig up something here and give it a shot. All right, let's give this thing a shot. Man, so yeah, I'm pleased. This is pretty cool. All right. This is just awesome. Like, I am. This is fan freaking tastic. And this is about as smooth as it can get right here. Woo! 
Look at that. Anyway, this is just awesome. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I am excited. This is my second one. And now I can play and stuff. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think.